Cool, we have our character finished to animation, so let's add some animation using Human AK and some mockup examples. So the first thing I want to do is come here to the uh, Human AK and open the uh, Human AK menu. And now under M Gear, I'm just gonna go to Shifter mockup. I'm just gonna keep this here open, and I have three options. Basically, it's import mockup skeleton, character as the biped and by the mockup biped. So here, this is a very uh, like simple and I would say not clean, a bit dirty way to do it because I import the skeleton, I map the um, character on the skeleton. If you want to do it properly, you, you have to characterize your character, your uh, rig itself. So it's a bit more cleaner. But for this, um, I'm going to use this quick and dirty tool. And the first thing it's I say, we need to open this first and the order the, the reason is because this updates something under the hood that if we do the characterize and then open this, it's gonna it's gonna like break our characterization before. And this is something related because it loads some information when we load this menu. So just remember that. So now I'm just gonna import my uh, mockup biped. And basically, um, if I show my my joints, is this a skeleton? It doesn't match yet the, the proportions of our character, but it's, it's almost there in T-Pose. Also, if you model the character, it's not in a T-Pose. Let's say I model my character in A-Pose. Before doing this, just place it on a T-Pose by hand like this. Okay, so now I have this, and I'm just going to characterize my biped. So I'm just after importing. I cannot do it in one step because it doesn't refresh properly. That's the reason also because it's in two steps. So now it's matching all the joins. If we change the template too much, the biped template to something else, maybe this is not going to work. This is very careful with that. Okay, and now before touching anything, I am just want to move from none to control rig. This, it will like update all the information and set it by default. If we don't do that, it's going to also uh, create a weird, weird results. So once we, that, we have this done, we just can come here to or um, control rig, and we can manipulate the M gear rig using the control rig. Cool. So now that we did this change, we can go back to none. Okay, that's that's it. But now this information is baked there, so it's good stuff. Now I'm gonna use um, some examples from Maya, but in this case, um, Maya doesn't come with these examples by default. So you you can get it for free and it's on there uh, if you go to your menu window uh, general editors content content browser and if you navigate to the examples animation motion capture generic you will see here a readme file so if we open this readme file you will see here a link that points to the autodesk maya creative market samples so you just copy paste this on your browser and it's going to point you to the download so once you have download, I have it here already, you will have this um, folder with the human AI examples and mockup examples. I'm just going to use one, I'm just going to use dance one, so I'll just drag and drop it here, the dance. And just going to make this bigger. So I should have my dance character here, and it's classic dance. You can see the proportions are completely off so this this skeleton and this skeleton is by by any means the same proportions but this is the great thing about human IK it, re it retarget proportions and it's it's awesome solver for this kind of stuff so here now we have the mockup example loaded so I just need to load it here and look our character now it's um, it's ready to dance so I'm just gonna play and you can see we have the animation retarget to our character. Great. So now that I have this, I can select any control of the character and as to bake to the to the control. So I'm just baking. You don't need to select all the controls. It's just one char one control, so it knows to which character it needs to to map or to bake. So now it's going to bake all the timeline. Okay, so we have it. And now under the um, 
sorry, it's under the global control, we have this mockup attached. So by default, it's still attached to the mockup rig. So I just want to turn this off. And if we go here on the human IK, change again to the control rig, you will see your control rig. It's here. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but it's not mapping anymore. If I change to none or anything, it's, it doesn't change that because I, I detached that. So if I go back and come here, just on the channel box and uh, mock up attach, you see, whoop, it's gonna attach it like that. We just keep this off, so we ensure that this is um, our stuff. So now I'm just gonna clean up all this. I'm just can delete it like this. And we have for our data vacant to, to our rig. I'm just gonna save. And you can use like a plugin that's an open source plugin like um, Studio Library. This one here. I already have prepared this. So I'm just gonna take all my controls. So come here to the sets, controllers, select all and new new animation. So I'm just gonna store this is my folder and just dance. And also I can create a quick capture and save. So now we have only the library with this dance ready to use in in any animation. Okay, so I'm just gonna close this and let's continue to prepare this rig to game engine sport.